If you're wasting 20 hours a week, you're wasting $50,000 a year. And you are doing that right now. And it's because you're young, wasting $50,000 a year is a way bigger catastrophe than it would be for me to waste it because I'm not going to last nearly as long. And so if your life isn't everything it could be, you could ask yourself, well, what would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? Let me speak to that person that feels like they lost their worth and their value. This is a dollar bill. Now, if I go to the store and there's something for 90 cents, can I buy it with this dollar bill? Okay, all right, so what if I ball the dollar bill up? Think about it now. Like, I just ball the dollar bill up, like, so it can't be worth a dollar now. It's probably worth like 95 cents, right? I just, I just balled it up, I just stepped on it, I put it in trash, I pulled it out, then I tore it in half, and you mean to tell me I could pick the dollar up, I could wipe it off, and I could put some tape around it, and it's still worth a dollar? Then why, if this dollar doesn't lose its worth of its value, then why do you feel like you've lost your worth of value? I have never met anybody who became incredibly successful in any area of their life until they had suffered and sweated and sacrificed and kept their focus and fought through tears and trials and tests. And if you have a dream and you commit to it, it will come to pass. What if we have that kind of attitude? The cause repossess. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off. But you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. If you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. And that bill from regret is generational. When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. Motivation isn't real. Everyone says this. Motivation is not real. Discipline. I do not feel like training, but I still train because I'm a disciplined individual. You don't get to go through life only doing things you feel like doing. So this is down to you, my friend. And listen, you may be feel fired up for 10 minutes after this little talk. You're not going to feel fired up forever. You need to put systems in place. You need to get discipline. You need to get an atmosphere of people around you who are going to keep you accountable and not make it easy for you to continue to be a fucking nobody. And then you're going to fix your life. Otherwise, you're going to stay a nobody. There are certain principles under which you act regardless of how you feel. I can wake up in a terrible mood. I can wake up sad. I can ache. I can have a busy day, stressed, etc. I will complete the same tasks as if I woke up in a fantastic mood. I'll do the same things because how I feel has no bearing on the things I'm going to do in my day because I have duty to myself and to my bloodline. There was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money and so he went to this guru, right? He told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. When he walked out to the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. But the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. Just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad.